From food, culture to lifestyle, it's time for another refreshing break in your day. Soda City Live starts right now. Welcome back to Soda City Live. Listen, what is better than getting a little laugh in now and again? Well, we have a local comedian that's joining us today. He's been all over the country and has been seen in movies on Tubi and Amazon Prime Video. And now he is back home for a live filming of his own comedy special called Ain't Nothing Funny Like the Truth. Well, joining us again today in our studio is comedian Jake Staley. And we're so excited to have you joining us. Thank you for having me. It is such a pleasure. Now, we've talked about all of your accomplishments so far, but let's talk a little bit about you. For our viewers who may not be familiar with you, tell us a little bit about your background. Where are you from? Well, I grew up in West Columbia and Swansea area. Between mm -hmm. Swansea, West Columbia, that's where I grew up. My father's from Swansea, South Carolina. My mom is from a place called Kensler. It's in West Columbia. So, I mean, I kind of grew up in the country. I'm a country boy, mm -hmm. simple. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Your 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 passion for comedy, is, would you say it's inherited or is just something that was inside of you? Definitely inherited. <laughs> Everybody in my neighborhood was a comedian. Oh, goodness. They was a comedian. My grandfather to my brother, my mama, my daddy is definitely a comedian. And it's just something that was put in me to do. But nobody had the courage to do it on a professional level. But I did it, and it worked. Okay. Well, listen, I, I, I know that whenever you would bring people around, they, they were probably going to get roasted, huh? Oh, yeah. Couldn't bring any dates around, <laughs> nothing. The family's just going in. Hey, look, <laughs> if my sister bring a man around, if he don't look the part, if my brother bring a woman around that don't look the part, oh, oh what are we talking about? Oh, not in, in front of them? No. Okay. See, it's, like a little, <laughs> it's like a little sideways thing. You know, yeah. you're tapping on, on yeah. the side. You know how you hit somebody with somebody yeah. walking? You done dated Sierra. Come on. Yeah. Well, let's talk about this. Let's talk about some of the work you've done outside of the state as well. How, how often are you traveling on the road for your shows? All the time. Um, Chicago. I just did Chicago, and I did my first headline job in Chicago about three weeks ago. I did mm. an hour and 20 minutes on the stage. That was my first time headlining Chicago, and it was awesome. But... I do a lot of work outside of Columbia, but I'm trying to come back home and bring this entertainment here in Columbia because it's not big here. Okay. But I want to take that and make it. I'm, I want to be one of the people that helps the, I guess, entertainment industry mm -hmm. in Columbia because well, it's not that. here. I want to talk about that a little bit more. So you've traveled all over and you're saying you're wanting to bring everything back here. What would you say is the major difference other than the major cities, the big cities and their um, their comedy scenes, their entertainment scenes versus here in the Midlands? Well, it's <clears throat> when you go out of town, being an artist from Columbia and going somewhere else, when you go to a different city, they looking for out of towners. Mm -hmm. You understand me? They're looking for people that's not from there. They support people that's not from there more than they support people that's from there because they don't know them. If people know you, they typically don't, you know, they, they just like, that's Jake, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Or that's whoever. So going out of town is, is uh, more of, you have anybody ever told you, like, people that don't know you and that's just meeting you, they just get who you are today. But people that's been knowing you, they, they typically, still see you as you. They still so see you as you. Yeah. And they don't see you, they don't really see you change. Mm -hmm. People change every day. Mm. You know, I'm not the same Jake I was last year. I'm not the same Jake I was ten years ago. But when you're home, you still the same Jake. People see you yeah. from ten years so ago. So it's a little bit harder to break into your own market than it is. Yes, it okay. is. But I'm gonna change that. In okay. Columbia. Well, we're looking forward to seeing that change. Let's talk a little bit about your comedic style. Um, would you say your style is more mature audience, families? Keep, get the kids out the room. <laughs> my, my demographic is large. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can bring your kids to my show in some cases. Most cases, my demographic go from the age of 18 to 80 because everything I talk about, you can relate to. Mm. I talk about stuff that happened to me that probably happened to somebody else. Mm. You know what I mean? So everybody can enjoy my comedy, not just a one group of people. Everybody can enjoy it because I'm a storyteller. I tell stories about my life and things that I experienced, mm. you know what I mean? So Understood. it's anything, anybody can come and enjoy my show. Now, uh, we're going to be wrapping things up shortly, but I have to ask you, and we're going to talk about your event, obviously, as well, but we, I want people to get to know who Jake Staley is. But um, I know you've seen the Cat Williams interviews and the parodies that have spun off since then. What, what are your thoughts? 
we don't have to get into specifics, but just in his approach in the way that he uh, it was kind of trying to bring things to light. I think what Cat Williams did was enlighten the people on the top level, the comedians that's up there, the A-listers, to, hey, we got to look out for the comedians coming up, mm. bringing awareness to the truth. I really believe what Cat Williams was saying, 90% of it. Mm. 10% was selling tickets, but 90% yeah. of it was yeah. the truth or how he felt. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, and I think he brought awareness to the comedy yeah. game. I really do. Now, with the the surviving great comedians that are A-listers or B-listers or just has really made a, a name for themselves in the industry, who is someone you you could see yourself working with or working? You know, I don't want to say like being one of their not opening, but being a part of their show. Uh, like a Ali Sadiq. Yeah, he's, he's he's hilarious. Ali, I get compared to him and Bernie Mac a lot. Mm. Because I'm a storyteller, but I'm aggressive on the stage as far as in my jokes, and I'm I'm loud, you know what I mean. But Ali, I would love to work with him because he's a stellar comedian. Mm, yeah, he is, and very his his stories are hilarious. Um, if and I think he he's he came here recently in the Midlands, but um, he's phenomenal. I want to make sure we get the details though for your live recording. So it's a show; it's just going to happen to be recorded. And where is that going to run? That's going to be at the Harbison Theater, Midlands Tech Campus. Okay. In Irmo. Um, and it's 7 o'clock Thursday night. Oh, wow. So coming up, that's this Thursday. Yes. And this recording, what's going to happen with it once the recording is done? Where Will it be on Tubi or Amazon Prime? What's well, your goal for it? We're shopping. We're going to shop it. Okay. We're going to shop it around. Of course, I got movies on Tubi already. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to go a step <clears throat> above Tubi. You've mm -hmm. seen Tubi movies. But I'm trying to go a step above. So Amazon yeah. Prime? Amazon Prime. Okay. You know what Netflix. I mean? Netflix. You're it, thinking. It, okay. That's what got I'm telling you. Awesome. Yeah. Well, um, uh, for that show, how much are tickets? Well, general admission is thirty bucks, and VIP is forty-five dollars. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And our viewers, if they're wanting to get in touch with you or follow you and follow your work and see what it what it is you're up to, how can they do that? Well, you go to Instagram. Go to the real Jake Staley. The, I'm sorry, the real underscore Jake Staley on Instagram. On Facebook is Jake A Staley on Facebook, and um, that's about all I. You know, uh -huh. and then on YouTube, I'm sorry, YouTube is uh, comedian Jake Staley. All right, I know I'm getting a rap, but I have one last question before we do wrap things up. Where do you see yourself? Let's do five years from now. Where are you wanting to be five years from now? Touring, um, headlining every arena, every comedy club that's available to to headline. I want to be everywhere. That's uh -huh. what I want to be doing everywhere, and uh, breaking into movies and doing stuff like that in the next five years, because I work hard. Yeah. So. Well, all right. Well, <clears throat> we're looking forward to it. We're going to check back in with you five years from now. But um, again, representing West Columbia, we have Jake Staley here with us. His show is going to be happening this Thursday. Those details will be on our website, SodaCityLive.com, and on our web, our Facebook, rather, Soda City Living. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Stay laughing.